Our topic for today is motor brand circuit calculation for single phase and short circuit ground fault protections for our feeder. I will take a look also at table 430, table 31015, and table 240 for full load current for inverse time breaker. This is the short circuit and ground fault protection to the contactor and overload relay and down to the single phase 5 horsepower 230 volts motor. When we are going to size the brand circuit and feeders conductors, we're going to use the FLC or full load current that is in table 430, 50. Let's talk about the steps that covers in sizing brand circuit. The first thing we're going to do, find the full load current from the table 430 to 48 for single phase and for three phase 43050. It says 5 horsepower, 230 volts, 28 amperes. Because it is continuous duty motor, let's assume unless it states something else like elevator that is intermittent duty. We're going to take 125% for sizing this brand circuit conductor as per neck. 43022A that tell us for this continuous duty motor, 1.25 times 28 amperes equals 35 amperes. The usual small conductor for residential and commercial like 14 gates for 15 amperes and 12 gates for 15 amperes that is for general application but does not apply here. Third, find the conductor at table 31015B16. It says 35 amperes. Copper conductor, remember that the default motor terminal ratings for is 75 degrees C as per National Electrical Code table 11014C. It is a thin gauge. For our short circuit and ground pole circuit protections, 28 amperes times 2.50 equals 70 amps as per table 240.6-A. The 2.5 or 250% is the percentage of full load current for inverse time breaker. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.